Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExilAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our test project course. And in this video, I'll be talking about working with C Sharp SDK of test project. So this is the same continuation video of our previous video where we created the two pages with C Sharp SDK support. And this is the iWeb test that is going to be executed within the remote machine using this particular configuration, the execute method. That's what the SDK basically requires to be looking for while executing this particular test. So it's already sitting in there. And now we need to test this particular code within our local machine and see how it basically works. So for doing that, I'm going to be adding one more solution. So I'm going to add a new project. And this time I'm going to be adding an MS test project, which is going to be performing a test operation for us. So I'm going to call this as Selenium local. So this is going to be testing the code that we have written in here in our local machine. And I need to add the reference this time. So for adding the reference, I'm going to add uh, a reference in here. And I'm basically I'm going to consume the libraries from the Selenium test for EA within this particular project. So that's the most important thing. So make sure you add that. So I'm going to hit add in here. So you can see that that particular project has been added here as a dependency, right? And I'm going to leave this name as unit test one for now because it doesn't really matter for us. And then I'm going to perform a series of operation in here. So the first thing is we need to add a private static string of dev token. So if you remember in our previous video, we discussed about the dev token, which is available within the test project. So I'm going to be adding that. So let's go in here to the test project.io website. And I'm going to log in so that I can climb my own uh, test projects dev ID. And that's going to be unique for each and every person. So maybe you'll have uh, your own. So make sure you get that. Go to the developer and there is a developer key. I'm going to copy this guy and I'm going to paste it over here. That's it. I need to specify the uh, the browser type, which is going to be the automated browser type. So I'm going to do that as well. Control dot. Oops. So this is automated browser type, not automation browser type. Control dot. So this is basically an enum. And then I'm going to say browser type is equal to automation browser type dot so I'm basically going to run the test in the Chrome browser this time so I have selected the Chrome in here and then we are going to be performing the operation of executing the test so for executing test within the test method I'm just going to be calling this using of runner class so now you need to get this runner class which is going to be something called the runner factory which has an instance method with the create web method. So I can call that create web. So you can see we can call create Android, create Android web, create iOS, iOS web and create web. So basically this time I'm just going to be executing the web application. So I'm just going to call the create web method. And here I'm going to pass the dev token and the browser type. Very important. So the browser type, right? I just passed both of them in here. And then I'm just going to call runner dot run of the new. Now I'm going to call this guy the Selenium test, right? So Selenium test, something like this. Hit control dot. That's going to bring the things for us. So this Selenium test is basically this class that we have written in our previous video. That's it. So this way, now, if I try to build the solution, what is basically going to happen is that this is going to create a new test method for us in the test explorer over here, as you can see. This will execute the test for us within our own local machine. So I have my test project agent running in my local machine. Uh, I cannot show you in this monitor at least because it's actually running though. Maybe I can show you in the task manager test project agent. So you can see that this guy is currently running, which is cool. I'm going to save it. And now if I try to run the selected test, it should basically spawn me a browser, something the Chrome browser. It has opened in a different window over here. And now I should enter the username and password and boom, the test has got successfully completed. And right. So now I'm just going to uh, add 
the final class which is going to be the user form class yeah so user form page so user form page is equal to new of user form page and i'm going to pass the driver over here and then user form page dot uh, enter user form so for this i'm going to pass the initial uh something like mr uh, and first name is karthik uh, middle name is kk something like that and the language is going to be english or hindi whatever it is maybe hindi and save this that's it and now i can directly go to this test and i can execute this super simple it is that in c sharp you don't even have to do a lot of things as we did for java it's pretty frictionless and it's pretty fast as well see automatically it spans the browser for us enters things pretty quickly and just has got successfully completed that's it this is how you can test the code in your local machine at least and now we have to run the same test in the remote machine which is nothing but in the test project agent so for doing that i'm going to go to the home once again go to the execute automation test project which we have been working so long in here and i'm going to create a new test and this time i'm going to choose this code you can see the window has been a little bit updated than uh, last time and now you can see that it says that upload your app code as well as is we accept the jar file format so basically uh, it accepts jar as well as uh, the dll file right now so the team will be updating that pretty sooner and i'm going to choose the project selenium test for ea this one and i'm going to choose the bin debug selenium test for ea dll file very very super simple it's not like uh, java where you need to add the dependency for the maven and you have to write so many things in the maven uh, palm.xml file all those things are pretty much gone in here it's very very super simple in c sharp the dll file is going to be compiled for you automatically and it will be added for you right so it says required sdk version is uh, 4.46.2 uh, uh, and i'm going to give a name which is nothing but selenium demo test and i'm going to hit select the application so basically you can either select the application or you can just leave it as it is so i already have a ea demo app in here i can choose that if i want but i'm just going to leave it for now over here and i'm going to start testing so there is the selenium demo test over here once i click this you can see that i actually see a test within this particular uh, code folder right and now if i run this test you can see that it's going to ask me which agent you're going to run this particular test basically it's going to be in my local agent and you can also select the browser this time so i'm just going to uh, leave the browser as chrome and i'm going to hit run we'll see what's going to basically happen all right it seems like the browser is opened in another window for me there you go cool you can see that the test has got successfully completed here and now if i go to the report you can see that the test has been executed successfully and it has got passed as well very very interesting and very very cool i can see that the writing the code and publishing that into test project is like just a matter of second or maybe matter of uh, clicks to upload the dll file within test project and things are working frictionlessly without any problem very very awesome so that's it guys this is how you can write your code within your local machine you can test it within your local machine as this format or maybe if you feel like there are so many steps there is a different project altogether i can just write this particular uh, option within a uh, same project as this like a, a runner class or something like that within this particular project instead of writing as a separate test project you can do that as well again it's all up to you how you want to take it i prefer to have test in a separate project and the cores in a separate project so that testing them is pretty much easier and frictionless right so it's all much easier and much sophisticated in c sharp as like java so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day in our next video we'll see how we can frictionlessly execute two languages which is c sharp and java code within a same test and see how test project handles those two languages without any problem